Welcome back to TheBeerCritic.com TV. And according to our birth certificates, I'm Scott. And I'm Brendan. All right. All right. So today we are bringing you some beers from Oscar Blues Brewery in Lyons, Colorado. Lyons, Colorado. Say yeah. what? Lions, Colorado. Lions, Colorado. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Never been there. Never been Colorado, either. one of the meccas of craft beer. Mecca? One of... Mecca? Oh, we were talking about this earlier. <laughs> All right. One okay. of the beer havens right. in the United States. And what would be considered a Mecca? Oregon. Oregon. Or mm-hmm. Washington State. Okay. I think we'd be... Somewhere in the north would be. West. Some Yeah, for some reason. Well, I Somewhere mean, and then you have like... Yeah, I mean, North Carolina's pretty big. And, oh, okay. Ah, there's right. so well, many breweries right, now. So then it's a Mecca. Whatever. Now it's a Mecca. A lot of breweries Before it was in Colorado. A Mecca, now it's a Mecca. Okay. All right. Very excited. So we have Deviant Dales, which is their IPA, and we have Old, Old Chubb, Chubb, which is their Scotch Ale. Scotch Ale. So That's right. Uh, yes. Scotch Ale. Interesting pair. Yeah. <clears throat> Not bad. A little right. bit about Oscar Blues. Well, there's no news, so we're just going to cut... Right in. I know there's no news. I'm so sorry. All right, so we're just gonna cut right into drinking some beer. All right, so tell I'm us sure about, everybody's devastated. I know. Brendan, why don't you tell us, <laughs> regale us with the history of Oscar Blues Brewery? I would love to, Scott. All I right. would love to. Oscar Blues. Okay. Founded. Founded. 1999. It was originally a Cajun restaurant in Lyons, Colorado. Okay. And the owner. I'm going to guess his name was Jason. Oscar? Maybe, no. Ed, no. The owner brewed his own beer. Yeah. Everybody liked it so much, he actually started to send it home with people. Cool. And came around to eventually putting it in a can cool. and distributing it. Now, what's neat is that his first beer, which was Dale's Pale Ale. Do you think maybe that's his name? <laughs> maybe his name is Dale. Dale. <laughs> yeah. I don't have that information in front of me at the moment. But we'll just... His first beer, Make Dale's Pale Ale... Make it up. Yeah. Was the very first craft beer to be uh, canned. Canned. Yeah. Yes. So, and what's neat is right out of the gate, the guy got an award at the Great American Beer Festival. So yes. Right out of the gate. As soon as he made yeah. it, he got an award. So. It's it's very good. We I mean, both had it. It's a, it's a very good beer. He knew he was destined for yep. great things. Yeah, you know, yeah. And they expanded to uh, Carolina. No, uh, North Carolina? South oh, Carolina. I have no idea. Brevard, I think. Brevard, South Carolina. Is there a Brevard in South Carolina? Sure. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I have no idea. We're not going to... What are the greatest just, things... We're going to glaze over that. All right, so... The greatest old job. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Brevard, North Carolina. You can't, Thank you. It's kind of hard to bull crap on your neck. Everybody can just Google it. And, see, now we're out of the... Now we're all screwed up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pop and pour old chub. Old and, Chubb. Uh, you walk well, us Thanks for it. putting me on the wrong page. All right. Well, That's cool. I'm not the one screwing things up. <laughs> Old Chubb. This is a... Love the sound of a can, a beer can oh, opening yeah. up. Yeah, very nice. Scotch Ale. Nostalgia. <clears throat> it is 8% alcohol. It is going to be malty. And... A little bit kilty? D- yeah. A little, little malty. Probably a lot malty. A lot malty. A little dark. Yep, I'm I'm expecting big flavors from it, so let's just go. Let's well. What was the ABV on it again? Eight percent. Eight percent. It is eight percent alcohol. And it's it's and a it's a little, little smoky. They said what they said. They said it's a little. Yeah, it's got a little cocoa, cocoa a little coffee, coffee. The, uh, the, maybe some beechwood smoked stuff in there. So it's, got, it's a really cool can. Yes. It's that it's like actually, you know Celtic kind of. It's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Brewed and canned. Oscar there you go, Blues. buddy. Ooh. All right, so it's obviously a dark beer. It's a chestnut with hues of goldenrod. Look at that. Goldenrod. You like that? What's a goldenrod? It's a plant. Oh. I'm allergic to it. It's not a plant. Goldenrod? Yeah, get out of here. It's a real thing. What do you I'm fairly certain. All right, Golden so rod. the head is uh, really thick, rod. and it's off-white. Off off white. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little off white. Caramel. It's, it's crystal clear was... though. Couldn't be any more clear. Crystal. It's pretty clear. What are you it's complete. Well, I mean, it's not like hazy. It's well, dark, it's but it's oh, not yeah, hazy yeah, okay. at all. It's. All right. That's different. Good clarity. It is dark. 
clarity. All right. Oh yeah, super malt, super malt. It smells very sweet. Oh, ah, yeah. wow. As there's, oh, I've had all old, kinds of. Uh, I've had old chub before, so I knew it was gonna hit. So, but a little, little semi sweet, little. It's uh, a kick. Uh, and I remember having it for the first time. I couldn't, you know, a lot of Scotch ales are kind of kind of weak. Hmm. Having this was just, I mean, it is, it is a kick. It's a lot of flavor. It's a punch. It is very sweet. Uh, you do get that kind of hmm. like bittersweet coffee. Uh, the cocoa. The bittersweet, cocoa. the bittersweet chocolate. I just got. It does have. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little tangy. <clears throat> It's uh kind of get yeah, you a little bit in your back. I, I want to say butterscotch, but it's not butterscotch. It's well, it's just it's because it's sweet and it has that. It's got a little caramel going on. Yeah, again yeah, there. it's the caramel. That's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicking in, good stuff. Yeah, it's excellent. That's a fantastic beer. Uh, on tap, this beer is insanely good. Yeah, I mean it's it great is... like this, but if you can get it on mm. tap, oh my goodness! I'm but this is this is one of my favorite beers. Problem is, it's close to, was it, eight percent alcohol. So yeah. you can't really taste the alcohol. I don't think you can taste the alcohol at least. Maybe a little <laughs> bit in the end, but yeah. Oh, not at all. Well, what alcohol? Ah, uh, as I drink half of a glass. I like that. Okay, next one. That's an excellent, excellent beer. Okay. Deviant Dales. Deviant Dales. IPA. I think uh, it's the big brother. Yes. All right. Is. The Deviant Dales is their IPA, and it only comes in the big bruiser size cans, the uh, 16 ounces. 16 ounce. That's right. Uh, it is 8% alcohol, just like its, its little brother. 85 IBUs. <coughs> got a silver medal. 85 metal. IBUs. This 85 is IBU. Yeah. It got an. It's going to be completely different. It got different. a gold. It got a gold. Different. It got a gold medal at the Great American Beer Festival in 2011. Oh, I'm sorry, not gold. Silver, a silver medal. Whatever, close enough. Oh wow, look at that! There we go. That's good. Now that's actually good. a little bit hazy. <clears throat> that might be the glass. I don't know. I can't tell. Wow, that smells. It's got a nice smells. bright color to it. That's got, oh. a, that's got a real pale <laughs> wow. smell, right? That's got a real. Oh, that's a, this is definitely malty. You totally smell the malt right at the this top. Just this just smells like I'm got... smelling a handful of hops. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is really hop forward. Yes, it is. Wow. Hop forward. You like that? Yeah. Hop forward. Hop forward. What's hop back? Forward. Hop malt back? Malt. Well, it'd be a malt back. Malt back, hop forward. Yeah. <clears throat> smells awesome. I don't want to stop smelling it. That could be a rep song. I kind of want this as a cologne. I want to go around smelling like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the police would love that. <laughs> All right. Damn. That's some good stuff. Wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. Wow. This guy this, this guy makes a good, good beer, doesn't he? Yeah, I don't think any of the beers are oh, bad. All right, well, crap. it's actually kind of sweet up front. A little bit toasty, bready. Uh, a little bit slight caramel. And then the hops come on, oh, yeah. and they just start to coat your tongue. Yeah, and it, it it's that resiny hop too. It's not. That is good. It's got that grapefruit resin hop. Let's give me a target back and forth from those two beers, though. I know. I just wanted the to sweetness go back. and the, the bitterness. Because that's really that's really tastes sweet and then this. But then it it actually finishes kind of sweet and, and dry. It's kind of <clears> kind of interesting. Yeah, took a sip of that just to get the sweetness. But no, and then it actually pulled out more of the sweetness. Did it in this? Yeah. Okay, let's all try that. Oh man, I just feel like drinking this whole thing. Like that this. tastes <laughs> really sweet. <clears throat> yeah, that's got a lot of. That's got. It's got right. some good bitterness to it. It did actually taste a little more sweet. Yeah, now. you get the little kick in the front, and then on the end, you get that bitter. Oh yeah, but the hops sweet. are right there, right. All on the size let of my see. tongue. Let me see. Let me see. That's awesome. That's an awesome beer. If you're a hophead, you like IP IPAs, mm. you've got to try that beer. I a, Dale's pretty much, I mean, Oscar Blues you can get all over the place, right? 
Yeah, I, I would think imagine. So. I would imagine they're. We get them down here, and we're at the bottom of Florida. We're in the, and we can get we're them. We're in the hell. Yeah, the hottest part of <laughs> of Florida. <clears throat> so close to the equator. Uh, and that's, damn, that is such a good beer. Oh. Wow. I can't okay. even. I can't even talk about it. I can't even talk to you about it. <laughs> it really I don't is. even want to talk. About I guess it. one of my favorite beers. Oh, wait, Dale's Pale Ale. Oh, I, I so you can't have this favorite and that favorite. Give me a break. I have so many favorite. <laughs> I have so many favorite beers. That's I can't. my favorite beer. I don't know. That's every, my. That's every my favorite, favorite beer. beer. <laughs> okay. Every, every cold beer is your favorite beer. Yeah. All right. So. So. Question time. Okay. That was quick. So. That was good stuff, though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna yeah, keep drinking it. We highly recommend I, uh, Oscar Blues. Any one of them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna keep drinking it as I talk. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I want to watch this. Go run down your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Larry. Larry C. Larry C. He's he's posing a question today. He is. What does he got for us? From where does Larry live here? That is Saint Petersburg, Florida, right there. Saint Pete. Okay. Yes, Larry says, "What is the weirdest beer you've ever tried?" The weirdest beer you've the ever weirdest tried. Weirdest beer you've ever tried. Good question, Larry. That is a good question. Question, Lawrence. What's the weirdest beer you've ever tried? Lawrence is St. Pete. Okay, the weirdest beer I've ever tried uh, has to be it was an oyster beer. It was an Italian oyster beer. An and, Italian oyster beer. Yeah, and they uh, the guy actually like grew his own oysters and put them in there. I mean, it was a Are you whole kidding? thing. No, like he had an oyster farm. Um, is this like a restaurant or something you were at? No, I I talked to a bar owner who, who served me the beer. He was okay. recommending it. And he told me all about it. He's met the guy. He's a guy in Italy and all this. Anyway, so they put these oysters in the like in the brewing process. I don't know at what part. <laughs> Yum. And you could taste it in the beer. Ugh. Like there was no mistaking that this beer had some sort of shellfish in it <laughs> was it salty and grainy? it was salty oh, it, it didn't have like that like grain but it was it was salty and it had that kind of rush of ocean uh, i don't know it, it it wasn't for me the saltiness was kind of interesting because it was like because it was a stout so it was kind this of guy sweet. recommended it too yeah well i think he was trying to it's unload a very it. popular beer <laughs> he was to a lot of people like a lot of people like oysters i just Did he charge you for it no Oh, good. It's just a sample. I don't oh. like oysters, so I probably shouldn't even try the beer in the first place. <laughs> I was I should have prefaced with that. I don't yeah. like oysters, yet I tried the oyster beer. Yeah. Didn't work out too well. But if you like oysters, you probably love the beer. Yeah. But I would. All right, I like enough oysters. about me. What do you got? Uh, the only one I can think of offhand is that maple bacon from mm. Rogue. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like the the. the Smoke beer. You know what? Maybe the only thing wrong with that was that S we were drinking at smoke. night. If we would have had like pancakes. A little bit of eggs. And bacon and like breakfast with it. It probably would have been muffin. fantastic. If I had a plate of bacon and had that, it probably would have tasted pretty good. And maple oh syrup God, and maple pancakes. Syrup? Oh, yeah. That's a good it, breakfast it was, drink. Not that we condone breakfast drinking, yeah. but that's a good no, breakfast no, no, drink. No. Unless it's the weekend, then you're fine. Yeah. But it was or a uh, holiday. Yeah, it was absolutely, that was hands down like yeah. crusted bacon craziness right yeah. there. Yeah, no, it was a weird yeah. beer. You're right. But I mean, this, this, there's a lot of weird beer out there, right? A lot of strange beer. Actually, yeah. <laughs> nobody's gonna get this strange beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, all right, dating ourselves. If you're there. under, if you're under forty, <laughs> yeah, you won't get strange beer. know what strange brew is. All right. Speaking of weird brews, strange brew. What do you got? Look at this. What is we that? We have the first ever beercritic.com TV top ten. Oh, Ooh, man. I didn't tell you about this. What's going on? Surprise you with it. Well, All right. I brought my harmonica. Okay. The top 10 weirdest beers, according to us, the beer critic. Okay. The, you know, Scott and Brendan. Top top 10 we found? Okay. Do you want a drum roll or do you want Yeah, a... uh, drum roll it. Okay. Number, number, stop. <laughs> number 10. Number 10. Okay. Okay. We have. And here we go. New York City. Bira Calabrona. It is beer brewed oh with yeast from hornets' abdomens. Whoa. Weirdo. Okay. Who's, no, seriously. Who's, who's, uh, Mario Batali. That's, uh, that's his restaurant. That's his place. 
Oh, okay. Well, Mario, you make a beer brew with Hornet's Admin's yeast. <laughs> Hornet's Admin's. Why would it work? That Hornet... must take forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody's <laughs> job, sit there and squeeze Hornet <laughs> things. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Voodoo Donut Make it Maple Bacon Ale. Maple All bacon. right. Number eight. Voodoo Donut Chocolate Banana Peanut Butter. Oh, that was good. Yeah, actually, that wasn't that wasn't was that bad. bad. Yeah. yeah, it's still strange. Yeah, it can be good and still be strange. All right, where are we at? Number seven. seven. Number seven. We have a Wustingy. Whatever. <laughs> it's a mustard, a mustard beer. Oh. Yeah. 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 It's it it's got. Uh, it's a Belgian mustard beer, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a Belgian beer with dark candied sugar and mustard seeds. God. So uh, what I'm picturing with this is it goes good with like a pretzel. A hot dog. Yeah. Or is it Belgian? Pre- what do they have? Like bratwurst or something? Yeah, and pretzels and cheese. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh. Where are we at? Number six? Six! Free Tail Brewing Company out of San Antonio, Texas. Spirulina Wit. All right. What uh, is that? It's the beer is actually bright green, and I'll put a picture on the uh, screen. It is bright green or like uh, blue green, and it's made with blue green algae, which is I guess called spirulina. So it's made from algae. Algae isn't yogurt made from algae too? Yeah. Uh, Bacteria. No. Well, yeah, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Five. Number five. Five. five okay. Five, 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 five. We've got. Kelpie Seaweed Ale oh. is by the Williams Brothers Brewing Company. <clears throat> That's going to be a whale of a beer. brewed with <laughs> seaweed. Yeah. Yeah. I could only imagine how that comes out. I, I, I'm, That's got to be I'm, terrible. I'm picturing another one of those oceany. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm picturing pulling out seaweed out of here. All right, wait, wait, number four? Four, 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 four. Okay, four, four. four is... The St. Charles, out of St. Charles, Illinois, the Pizza Beer Company, Mamma Mia Pizza Beer. Ugh. It's a margarita pizza ingredients put into a mash and steep like a, oh, oh God. Number three, three. Pizza and a beer, that just sounds terrible. Uh, I don't know. I'd still try it, though. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, it just sounds weird, but... If you want to send this one, we'll try yeah. it. Well, if you, you know, what if you're a pepperoni fan, though? Then you're I like really, pepperoni. I buy, yeah. It's a margarita pizza yeah, it's a margarita ingredient, pizza. so yeah. it's, so it's just not going to work. Tomato, basil, and mozzarella, right? Well, some people put sauce. Well, gravy. I said, I said gravy. tomato. Gravy. I said tomato. Gravy. I said tomato. Gravy. All right, number three. Three. We have, okay, now we're getting really oh. weird. The Wincoop Brewing Company at Denver, Colorado, Rocky Mountain Oyster Stout. Yes, that's right, boys and girls. Oyster stout. It is. <laughs> each, <laughs> each, <laughs> I can't even, it's so weird, I don't want to say it. Each batch is made with 25 pounds of freshly sliced and roasted bull testicles. Bull testicles? Bull testicles. Bull mm. balls. Bull testicles. I actually but, want to try that beer. Yeah, me too. Because... It sounds crazy. Crazy. It's weird. I bet you it's a. I bet you it's nutty. <laughs> <laughs> what number are we at now? Uh, number two. two. Okay, the <laughs> Sankt Gallen Brewery in, in Japan. Unkuno Koro is the name of the beer. It is a coffee stout. I didn't know you knew Japanese. It is a coffee stout made with coffee beans. Okay, it's made with coffee beans. Coffee beans. That have passed through the digest- digestive tract of an elephant. Oh, so it's pretty much made with elephant poop. Elephant crap. That's so we go from from nuts yeah. to crap. <laughs> I think we covered both. Alright. Coffee with elephant crap. Isn't there like a special, oh, like really high end coffee that goes through like like badger poop or something? I, I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Don't know. Which brings us to number one. Mm, number one. And it's our boys over in Newport, Oregon. Rogue Brewery. Ooh, what are they doing? Okay. Here we go. This one is called the Beard Beer. The Beard Beer. Right. It is beer brewed with yeast from the brewmaster's beard. 
Oh, oh man. I don't. Okay. Oh. You know. You know to build up yeast. yeast? Uh, uh. <laughs> to build it, up no, yeast. No. You can't shower. It was right? done. It was done at a lab. They took some hair and they took it off the hair and I guess synthesized How do you know it. How it was maybe? done at a lab? Well, it wasn't just done in somebody's kitchen. They actually had to send. It wasn't like they scraped. I don't know. It sounds terrible. Uh, maybe it's he the, just dipped his head in too far when he was looking at the thing and he slipped in. What's weird is that I, I would try any one of these on this list except for this. I can't get past it being human yeast. Human yeast. I don't even have a beard anymore. You got a beard. Ugh. It's like... Uh, I don't know. I can't even deal with somebody it. Somebody else's. I can't even talk somebody about else's. it. Somebody else's. I don't think I can do that it's either. It's kind of gross. I could probably well, do it's the... It's not kind of. It's gross. It sounds gross. And it's a toss-up but... between that and uh, the nuts. Which which one? The bull nuts. Really? Ah, I see, I don't think I'd have a problem. I mean, it's it, it's definitely weird, but... That's... I, def- I mean, I you'd try it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd probably forego the beard, though. Know. The beard so... just sounds dirty. Lord, yeah, Sounds it does. Like unshowered, you know? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I get the so same feeling. I get this though. that same kind of like. Why does this beard have yeast? Does every beard have yeast? Jeez, I hope does not. Does all hair have yeast? <clears throat> Ugh, I don't know. It sounds like just scraping skin off. And, oh, I can't. All right, enough. I can be able to finish this. Okay, so there you go. If you have a weird beard that was not listed, let us know. Post in the comments, or you know what to do. All right, so check us out online at thebeercritic.com for more articles and videos, videos. And written reviews, and Facebook at facebook.com forward slash, forward slash, forward splash. I like that. Forward splash, the Ooh, beer critic. It's you, making up yeah. words. You're a regular Don and King. Hop y- forward, <laughs> malt back. YouTube.com. Oh, YouTube.com forward yes. slash, the beer critic. Subscribe. So subscribe. Help us do what we do. And if you have any questions, comments, let us know. We'll put them on the, on Please, the show. Please, give us, give us some feedback. Yeah. Tell, us, like feedback. tell us what beer you like. Good tell or us bad. what beer you don't like. Yeah. Tell give us, us what beer you yeah, Send us a picture. Us a, all right, guys. Keep the clothes on. So, Cheers. Thanks for watching. Slancha. See you next time.